Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are opening my newest subscription, which is the Fabulous Planner. Um, like it says on there, made in Los Angeles, California. Uh, this company is owned by a very lovely girl named Flavia. Um, she is just super sweet. Uh, so this is kind of Desiree's fault. Um, so <laughs> let's put that aside for a minute. Um, yeah. Uh, all right, let's put that aside for a minute. So anyway. I was watching her channel like last month and she had gotten a sub box and I'm going to tell you something. I don't know what months these things are. All I know is this one is called Stargazer and the one that's coming this month, but it doesn't really show up until like the end of the month um, has like pumpkins and stuff. So I don't know what month this is. No idea. <laughs> it could be October. It could be September. I don't know. All right. So anyway. I was watching Desiree open the box that came before this one, and it was book themed. So this is the second sub box with a book theme. Actually, I think the third because cloth and paper had one too. So it was the third sub box with a book theme that I had missed out on because I'm not subscribed and I didn't know about it. So I was obviously at this point getting very upset about missing all this bo all this book stuff that I really wanted. Now cloth and paper does not release extra stuff on their website, which I find irritating and I think is not the right move, but you know, their company, they can do what they want. Um, but I totally would have bought like the whole box, even if it was a slightly higher price. Um, I would have bought all the pieces, even if it cost more than the subscription box. I really loved that stuff. So that was upsetting. So anyway, book themed box. So I went on her website because Desiree said, oh, she sells extras and I found the extras. So like there's a lot of people in it, which I didn't really notice at the time, but there's a lot of other stuff that I can use. Um, and then this was cute with like all the carb foods that I can't eat and um, the tree <laughs> coffee. It was just cute. Um, and then there was like this massive pack. Okay. Massive pack of book stickers. So like check this out. Like this was crazy good. And there were, of course, other things that were in the sub box that either I didn't want or weren't available. So, books are better than people. My weekend is all booked. Line of books. Adventure awaits. Stack of books. Between the pages of... Oh, that's an A. Okay. Between the pages of a book is a wonderful place to be. And, okay, so we've got a Christmas bear. Um, but he does have some sort of book in his hand. And we've got a sloth. He's got coffee and a book and glasses. Got little, I think, dinosaurs reading books. Didn't even have books, but okay. There's a million books I haven't read, but just you wait. And we've got a penguin with a book. I was born with a reading list I will never finish. <laughs> uh, I love books. Education is not the learning of facts, but the training of the mind to think. And we got a dog with a book. We got a triangle of books. We've got... How does this work? Ah, there we go. We've got a dinosaur carrying way too many books. I like this one. Drink good coffee, read good books. I mean, they're all good. There's some that I just like better than others. This one's good. I heard books. Here's a person reading a book, but you can't see the person, so that's okay. Here's a coffee cup with its stack of books. A cat with its stack of books. You're getting the theme here, right? So read more books. We got another stack of books. We got a fox with books. Go away, I'm reading. There's another set of books. I guess they go this way. Maybe they go that way. I don't know read more like if that isn't 1980s i don't know what is uh and this one books <laughs> and take me to the bookshop that's adorable and we got what is this beaver groundhog chipmunk something hugging a book and that's a nice little scene there and now we've got this one read more diverse books uh let's see we got a plant reading a book. We've got, this is how I roll. We got, it's a library cart full of books. We got another person reading a book. Can't see the person's face, but that one's more a person than the other one. We've got a heart full of bookshelves. And we got a person with cats in a book. Hey, ponder and a prender? What? I don't know what the heck that is. 
treat your shelves. <laughs> so many books, so little time. Bookshelves with plants and cats. And then this one, I've lived a thousand lives. That's cool. So then there were some other ones that I had pulled out. Um, one more chapter. I really like that one. And this set of books. And then this one. We lose ourselves in books. We find ourselves there too. And this one with the snowy owl. And it's a stone chamber prisoner goblet order Prince Hallows. So this is Harry Potter. This one reminds me of Harry Potter because it sounds like something Luna would say. And these books just look like Harry Potter. And these look like magic books. Which is why these are separate from the other ones. Um, so this also was just really cool but kind of looked like Harry Potter-ish. Um, or magic. Um, and there's this one. It says like fangirl. And we've got like The Hobbit, Harry Potter. All kinds of stuff on there. And then we've got Books Are Magical. And then this one is quite clearly the four houses from Harry Potter and like here's the book. So, you know, so I put those aside because that's, you know, my favorite thing. Um, it's one of my favorite things. So I put them separate. But like this is a crazy amount of book stickers. I love it. So I'm on the website. Oh, and I got the pin from it. It says books are better than people and it's got a cat with glasses. Um, so that's the stuff that I got of what was available from the prior sub box. I think I got everything. That, like I wanted to get um, so there's there's a lot of stickers here so this was like a really good looking sub box like so there was obviously some stuff that I didn't like which I didn't purchase um, but there was a lot of good stuff I can't get these back in here I'm not messing with this right now and this one really kind of belongs with those um, so anyway so that's how I ended up with these so we looked at these stickers it's literally one sheet of stickers I'll touch the Harry Potter ones over there and then there's this um, sticker kit which I imagine is still on her site until they sell out. I don't know if they sold out. I have absolutely no idea like how fast stuff sells out on her site. I know she's got a Go Wild box coming at some point. Um, but that's like separate from the subscription box. Um, so yeah, so this is called Fully Booked. So like here's the owl in boxes. Here's a Monday through Sunday that you can actually read. It's a bunch of little icons and flags. And then you've got washi made out of people, which I'm not big on. And then, like, a ton of people, a flag, and, like, one usable quote sticker. And then there's all this deco, and there's only two people you have to deal with. And then this one has no people. So it's got different, like, boxes and, and checklists and things. So there's a lot in here I could use, but I can't use the whole thing because it's just, it's overridden with people. So didn't notice that when I bought the sticker kit and you know didn't notice it when Desiree opened it either and I don't remember what was with the other stuff and why I didn't like it um but I figured I will try this sub box it's not particularly expensive I think it's in the 35 ish dollar range 30 dollars something like that way like low price for a sub box which is good so this is the box it came in they wrap your address around the front so trying to keep that off the screen so after placing my order I looked at these subscription options and I got the subscription so where to put the card that explains the subscription there we go okay so you get this card so this is the regular subscription and then this is the quote-unquote luxury subscription um, and it's only a couple items difference um, and then see here next month's theme has like baskets and, and all this stuff that I like so that's why I'm giving it a second chance so the reason I say I'm giving it a second chance like I don't I don't like not saying nice things about things. Like, I would rather just, like, pretend I didn't buy something and not show it on the channel than say something is horrible. Like, I hate when I have to do that. Um, I'm not thrilled with this. Um, and you're going to recognize some of this artwork, too. Um, but I'm not, I'm not thrilled at all. Um, so let's look at everything. And you guys can tell me if I'm crazy. Because maybe I should like it. I don't, don't know. But... Like, I tried to film this video once before, and I just, I couldn't do it, um, because, you know, Flavia seems so nice, and I feel bad, so I wanted to give her another chance. Um, alright, so these are, apparently, Pluto sticky notes. So I like sticky notes, so that's cool. Um, so that one's okay. Um, and then these, um, so this is that gold that I can't stand. It's the horrible cheap gold foil. Um, that stuff really should be illegal. 
Um, so it's 60 pieces of decorative stickers. So there's like a lot of triangles and circles and moons and stuff like that in here. Um, they're vellum stickers. They're just not my thing. Let's just take some out because there's like, there's a lot of stickers in here. I will, I will give her that. There is a ton of stickers in here. Um, and they have like weird glossy backing, but they're like vellum stickers. They got like these diamonds. So the thing that's really like off-putting them for me is this lousy gold foil, which, you know, I love foil. So for me to say that this foil is bad, it's got to be really bad because <laughs> I'm pretty much accepting of almost all foil, not this. Um, this is really bad. You got smaller diamonds here, triangles, uh, cross between a triangle and a diamond, more triangles. These have better color, but still this foil, like, so I don't know. So am I too picky with foil? Because you guys have heard me, you know, diss other companies' products for the cheap gold foil before. Um, so that's like a legitimate complaint. Um, <laughs> it really is, because that's just lousy. Um, that doesn't make anyone happy, you know? So, I mean, those would be really cool with good foil. Um, so that's those and like I said there's a ton of them I just feel like none of them are usable um, so then we've got let's see this little book and it says future quest series lunar cycle um, so these are basically like paper stickers so I'm pretty sure they're stickers pretty sure I read that they were stickers where are they on the list? Mini sticker book. Yeah, they're stickers. Um, it's it's just a matter of how do you get them to come apart. Um, so yeah, so... Yeah, I have absolutely no idea how you're supposed to work these. Um, but I can't get the backing off. So, anyway, it's all these little paper like moon phases and I mean they're cute like really if you're doing something like scrapbooky with a journal or something you can just throw some tape runner on the back of them and stick them down that's kind of neat um, but for the most part most of them aren't that good and the fact that you can't get the paper off is irritating um, they don't really smell very good either um, and some of them have some kind of weird I guess like the ink smudged or something. Um, so yeah, so that's the little book of stickers. Which I don't know how to get that off. Okay. Um, so then there's this, it says on here, die cut washi. Is that what it says? Where'd it go? Yeah, die cut washi tape. Now I've heard this term before. And the die cut washi tape that I am accustomed to is like simply gilded where it's like die cuts and then she loads it up with like foil and bubble overlay and you can't cut it with any normal cutting tools except scissors um and i'm really not fond of that to be perfectly honest with you i don't think it sticks very well um which is why i don't buy it anymore you know if it comes in a set or something fine but i you know i don't purposely buy that anymore um so yeah um so this is ruining my nail, and I can't get it to come up. So what's going on here? Okay, so it rolls off. That's great. Uh, except for that whole, hey, we're stuck to ourselves problem. Um, okay. So once you finally get it off, I guess it works just fine. Um, so... Uh, yeah, so it's kind of thin. You can see through it. It's purple clouds, white stars, and then again, the not so very good goldish foil. Kind of looks like brass. Um, so yeah, so not real. Like this is not. I would never buy this stuff myself. Basically, is what I'm saying. Like, see what I mean though? Like, I, I feel bad, but this is just not subpar to me. So like. You know, am I being too judgy or I don't know. You guys tell me because 
I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> but th there are other issues. Okay, so you get... It says paperclip on here somewhere. Where does it say it? It just says paperclip. Now, I figured it was a typo. And there was, like, you know, a little bag of paperclips. There is one paperclip. It's cute. It's got... It's a star and it's got a moon in it. It's adorable. Um, but it's literally one paperclip. Why? I don't understand the point of one paperclip. Um, that's like my favorite item, so we're going to save that for last. Uh, I do actually have a favorite item. <laughs> one item. Um, okay, so this is Magic Mirror Mirror, 45 pieces, and these are like solid. When I say they're holographic, I mean they're solid holographic. Um, and here's the thing that made me not so thrilled with them. Um, so I got these from Stationery Pal. Uh, a while back. Um, so the card opens like this. Now these are all like planets and stuff. Um, the moon mostly. And as you can see, very, very holographic. Um, but they looked really cool on their website. So I had bought them. I don't think those ever made it into a video. I could be wrong. Um, so in this case, like the side of the package came open and the side of the interior package came open. So that's, you know, not a good sign. Um, Obviously, if anything had come out, it would have come out in the box. So, I don't think that it did. Um, but since these are open on the side, we can pull these out. And we can look at just, like, how... Like, I mean, we're not talking Disney Villains Hollow here. Um, but it is, like, clear hollow. So, maybe it's supposed to go this way? Oh, I think it's supposed to... No, it goes that way. Yeah. Not that way. It goes that way. Um, so hopefully you guys are seeing the hollow aspect of these. So we've got those. And then we've got these moons. There's a couple of those. Um, so these actually really aren't that bad. What annoys me is that they're just like something you can buy off like, you know, AliExpress or something. Um, I like the stuff where, like, you know, the majority of the things are, like, designed by, you know, someone at the company you're buying it from. Um, so, you know, holographic. Um, these aren't bad. Like, these I would sparingly use depending on which one it is and what it's for. Um, like, those are just, like, vases. Um, here, look. Potion bottles. So, I'm going to keep these out because, obviously that's good for Halloween. Um, so there is, okay, so there's good stuff in here. So that's better. The thing that stinks is like, they're all flake stickers. Um, <laughs> this looks like a magic book. It is a book. And we've got, these are different potion bottles. And we've got like a moon snow globe kind of deal. Oh, these are cute. I like these. I like the moon and the cloud. The stars. I like those. And I'm not sure what you are. What are you? You're like, I don't know, it's a bowl and some greenery or something. And then we got these interesting suns. So, you know, there's, there's cool stuff in here. Um, like I said, my objection was, you know, There's, like, I think, you know, same deal with these bad gold ones. Maybe not with the washi. I don't know. Um, the sticker book, obviously, like, I think there's only a couple of things in here that Flavia had anything to do with the designing of, and that's basically where my issue lies. Um, ah, okay. I stuck them in the wrong packaging. That's the package this is supposed to go in. Now I understand. All right. Um, so here's the sticker kit. And if you guys have watched my channel for a long time... This is going to look vaguely familiar in some ways. And you're going to be going, I recognize that sticker. I think I've seen that before. Um, but there's only so many people who sell artwork for stickers. And my understanding is that eventually a lot of people end up with the same stuff. Like, at some point, Happy Planner had bought florals that for a sticker book that they printed and sold that Heather had already used in one of her books. Or her book was being produced and Happy Planner came out with that one. I don't remember which order it was, but... You know, so these things happen. So these stickers aren't too bad. Um, but 
and tell me if anything here looks familiar. I mean, these are all cute. There's no people, so I can use them. This one, on the other hand, has people, um, but you have seen those people before. And then we've got this one. We've got some words. We've got some checklists, uh, habit trackers, some boxes. But, like, this should look familiar. These girls on the pillows should look familiar. Lots of stuff here should look familiar. Because a lot of this art was in a DEK Designs kit many, many months ago. We actually did a whole spread with that one. Um, so, if I can find the video for it, I will link it. Um, they have those pop-up card things, so theoretically one of those will pop up here. Um, it really depends on whether or not I can get to my laptop before it goes live to put it in. So, it'll definitely be in the description, but it might have just popped up on the screen. I don't know. Um, Alright, so you also get... Excuse these stuffy nose. You also get this... Um, pen, which is neat, it's holographic, and it's got like the stylus for like your phone or whatever on the back. Um, it's not branded in any way. This I had already pen tested, so you see like the little pen test here. So that's that one. So I mean, you know, it's pretty, it's a holographic pen. I like these. So that's cool. Um, and then this. So does this remind you of anything? Like, you know, I thought it was a pen. It turned out it was a washi cutter. Well, I assume this was a washi cutter. And guess what? It's a pen. So I'm starting to think the Chinese manufacturers are just trying to mess with me at this point. I mean, it's even got the thing in the cap, like the washi cutter. It's just weird. So this is this one. And it's like purple gel glitter ink. So I, But it's like super micro glitter. Like, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I think that's better. You might be able to see it now. But that's like super, super fine micro glitter. But it's cute. Um, now, and it goes with the stickers because it's purple. Um, and you can see when you're running out. Um, but yeah, so that was confusing. And it's very hard to put the cap back on. I should probably mention that too. Um, okay, so we're going to save the favorite item for last. So you get this um, in the deluxe. So we've looked at everything, I think. All right, my favorite item is the last item from the regular kit. So the rest of this stuff is the deluxe kit, I do believe. That one, that one. Yeah, so it's like two things on top of... So this kit really is, is only two things more than this, um, if that makes sense. Yeah, there's only two extra things. Okay, so you get this um, dashboard, laminated dashboard, which would be fantastic if it wasn't a giant person. Um, and also if it had something on the back, because that's just boring to look at. Um, but yeah, so my daughter um, seemed very interested in this and the other stuff you're about to say, so she can have it. She doesn't mind people. Um, all right, so these are planner inserts. So again, we've got a person, and again, both of these people and their backgrounds you should be recognizing. Um, so now we've got a week. It's horizontal. Do you see the watermarked moon with flowers? You should recognize that too. And then we've got this like prism thing. I don't know what it is now. I didn't know what it was when it was in the other sticker kit. <laughs> I have no idea. So we've got two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, and then three days. That's odd. Um, so you have like a month and three days of um, a horizontal planner. And it's undated, so you could use it whenever you wanted. Um, it's just, it's got people. Um, so that's the difference between the regular kit and then this is the luxury. But the price difference isn't that much either. So, um, but these things, I definitely think that Flavia does. Um, and the sticker kits. Um, so this is my favorite item out of the box. And it's not even planner related, although I could hang it on my planner if I want. Um, let's see if I can get it open. And obviously, Blobby did not make this, but it's still my favorite thing in the kit. Maybe, well, all right, maybe the holographic stickers too. But this was really cool. And I wasn't expecting this at all, so this was neat. So, it's a keychain, which I'm probably gonna hang it off a, a planner cover, but, so it's got the moon, with the man in the moon. And then it's got this pretty crystal thingy. 
and it's kind of holographic like the stickers so you know that kind of stuff I like so when it hits properly it's like the moon like hangs over the crystal so I don't know I can't get it to go on camera wait wait wait, wait. kind of <laughs> I, I don't know. It just looks neat. Um, so anyway, that's everything in this sub box. So the new sub box should be here um, sometime in the next like week or two, two and a half, somewhere. I'm not really sure. I know it hasn't shipped yet. Um, and this one I got weeks ago. And like I said, wasn't thrilled with what I initially saw. Didn't want to rip on anybody, especially nice people, um, you know, on YouTube. But... Um, the only way to be able to show if the next one is better is if you guys see this one. So, like, plus, I mean, really, I don't like people in my planner, right? But this is good artwork. And, like, my daughter thinks this is awesome. And she thinks this is awesome. So, it's me that has the problem <laughs> with the people. So, that, like, you know, colors my opinion as well. I really don't like this washi. I really don't like this book at all. I think one paper clip is like a total, like, why bother? The sticky notes are okay. Um, the holographic stickers are probably my second favorite item. Uh, third being the pens. And these stickers, no. I think these are pretty horrible stickers. Um, it's not going to make a difference, but we'll see if it makes a difference. As soon as we figure out how to get this backing off. Alright, so that came off. So it's on a um, piece of plastic. And like even on here. Like it's still the horrible gold. Like it's not even gold. It, I don't know what to call that. It's just, it's not pleasant. Um... So, you know, it's a cool concept, it's just executed poorly, and that's really not Flavia's fault, that's whoever made the thing. Um, so yeah, so not big on these at all, not big on this, not big on this. I'll put this in my collection because I have other ones that look like it, but I don't understand adding one paperclip, that's just weird. Um, the pens are fine, these are cool, I kept some out for Halloween because... They are definitely Halloweenish, and they'll look good with my spreads. Um, but yeah, so that's like it, because um, the other stuff is the book stuff, which was a separate order. But I also subscribed to this after I placed that order. So there are things that I like. There are things that I changed my mind about while I was opening them, um, and then there's things I still don't like, like people. But my kid will be happy to have this. Um, so. The jury is still out on this because there are things I like, there are things that I don't like, and I do particularly like the theme for next month versus this month. Um, so, it doesn't have a name, but you can see, you know, the hand-drawn rainbows, there's a truck with pumpkins, there's a basket of apples, there's another pumpkin. That's the kind of stuff I like. Um, so I want to see what the next box is like because maybe this is just a fluke. Um, you know, it's totally possible. But let me know what you think. Do you subscribe to this? Have you subscribed to this? What do you think of the box? Um, like I said, it's not that expensive. Um, but I don't know. If you don't want the dashboards and the planner pages, then you can just get the classic box, which is slightly cheaper. Um, but that's the only that's the only difference between the two boxes, is that. Um, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a couple of your friends. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.